it's 7.20 in the morning. I, it is Friday, the 27th. Got up pretty early this morning at 5.20, 5.15 for my 6 a.m. plan. I have an hour break, so I come home. I live like just a few minutes from the gym. For breakfast this morning, I have one Dave's Killer Bagel. And I put this on one half of it. I really like this um, jam, jelly jam because uh, it has no added sugar and I feel like it tastes really good. They do put stevia, which I actually really like as well, that they uh, sweeten it with stevia. I love stevia. And then I'm also gonna have, or in the pan, I go put them on a plate, two egg whites, one whole egg, and two slices of uncured turkey bacon. I fixate with my breakfast really bad, and so I've been having this breakfast for like the last two to three months, and I'll get sick of it and I'll switch to something else. <laughs> But the agenda for today that I bring you guys along, um, I have to go for, I have to do my center of heart outdoor walk at some point and it's going to rain all day so I will be doing that in the rain today. And I have a couple more clients at the gym, I was going to do a lower body workout as well and then I have some programming I need to do, I need to build out a couple new programs and um, update some programming for a couple clients. So that's it. Wally says good morning. I'll see Susan on the couch still. He's eyeballing that bacon. You see him? He's like, oh, I want that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to eat breakfast. So I am here for my 8 o'clock client, my 9 o'clock client I had to cancel for today and then I have a 10 o'clock client and then I am done with in-person clients for the day. I say my like 10 o'clock, my 9 o'clock, I've had these clients, I've been working with everyone for, most of them for over a year, if not close to like a year and a half. My in-person books have actually been closed, I've taken on like one or two new clients and I think two like hybrid clients and maybe the last nine months because uh, I got all my regulars and I love them. So if you ever see a spot open up for my in-person training on Instagram, snag it because it doesn't happen very often. Let's go train Karen and then let's go back home because we've got an hour break. Hey dudes, what's up? Currently just sitting outside the gym chilling. Get ready to go train some lower body. So I thought I'd take y'all along for the ride today. I got to drive Ace's truck because he's gonna replace the brakes on my car today. I love driving his truck. I think it's the redneck in me. I grew up in like a very small town and um, I love a jacked up truck. Like I can't help it. I think it's again my DNA. Sorry. All right, let's, let's get mentally ready. Let's get mentally put together for this training session. Let's go. y'all welcome to lower body day so i wanted to kick off this workout with some abduction i like to do these really lightweight high rep this is just to get the glutes warmed up fired up ready to go to make sure my mindset is ready and focused for the workout but realistically this movement is again more of a warm-up so i want to make sure my glutes are awake and i'm not pushing super hard weight there same thing with these leg extensions i am basically warming up the knee joint uh, making sure that I am getting blood flowing to that area and ready to rock there as well. And then today, for some reason, I got a wild hair. I said, you know what? I'm gonna squat. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squat. And I had zero intention of like squatting super heavy and then I, I, I did end up going that direction. But here you'll see a warm up set of these squats here, um, making sure I'm going below parallel um, with my depth, making sure chest stays up nice and tall, spine stays long and neutral. The biggest key to that guys is gonna make sure you're using that core effectively. <laughs>
At this point, I was really wishing I had a belt. <laughs> so I actually went over to the other side of my gym, snagged one and decided to go up a little bit more in weight. So here I am gonna go try to hit 195 and see how it feels. But you know that moment when the worst song ever comes on, you gotta change it, that was that moment. So then load it up with 195 and hit that. I did feel my left knee a little irritated on that one, but I thought, you know what? It didn't feel too bad and I'd really like to do 200 today. So we went and found some two and a halfs and threw those on each side. And then I spent forever trying to find someone who I could ask to spot me because none of my gym friends were there, but I found this very nice gentleman here who offered to spot me and we hit 200. <laughs> I was pretty happy with hitting 200 for the day and we moved on to hip thrust. So I wanted to go a little lighter on this, make sure I was getting a great mind muscle connection with the glutes and uh, go for a little bit higher reps to really chase that glute pump. I do notice I just feel so much more glute engagement whenever I don't push max weight on this movement, but everybody's different um, with that. So, and that doesn't mean that you should avoid max weight either and I should avoid max weight because I definitely don't. I then moved over, didn't realize I pretty much cut my entire self out of this frame, but you know what, it's fine. And I did some deficit reverse lunges. So the way that the toe is angled down and the way that the front foot is elevated is gonna, and the way that I'm hinging forward at the bottom of the rep, I'm getting a really good glute and quad stretch. So I'm getting a lot of knee flexion, a lot of hip flexion. This is your reminder to rest between your legs, guys. And then I went over to the other side, but make sure that you're really focusing on, um, you know, the angles at which you're moving. Okay, this next movement, guys, I thought about leaving it out because look at how unflattering that is, but these are bodyweight sissy squats. I only did two sets of eight and my quads were screwed for like three days, so these are rough. And here I am contemplating my existence, but hey, workout's done. All right, guys, the most exciting part of this whole video, we ordered one. So we're gonna walk through if I can figure out how to use it or not. It is Sunday evening. It's been a minute since I turned the camera on, but that's okay. Yeah, I found a TikTok, actually. That's why we were so influenced to buy the Ninja Creamy. I watched a TikTok where this guy just made a protein ice cream bowl with literally just a core power. Um, and now I'm gonna try to figure out how to make protein ice cream. And I'm already in my PJs, so enjoy. <laughs> lighting is just not doing me any favors um, so I ran it twice and I've had to add a lot more almond milk both times so I'm gonna run it one more time and add a little bit more almond milk because it tastes great but it's a little bit like the texture is not quite what I want for ice cream so run it one more time all right moment of truth I'm really excited if you can't tell Yep, that was worth it. Wow. So I put one core power in here. So that's like 26 grams of protein. Hold on, I've got a vanilla one over here. One of these guys, 26 protein, four and a half fat and six carbs. And I added in probably about a cup of almond milk, which is another two and a half fat, one carb and one protein. This, this whole thing, I don't even know if I'll eat this whole thing tonight, but I'm excited to try. 